Welcome back to my channel, you guys. As promised, I'm gonna share my updated nail prep routine. This is my favorite cuticle pusher by Orly. I love that it's angled. It just makes my job much more easier. And I sprayed some 99% alcohol onto my nails before pushing back the cuticles. I'm showing you guys that side angle because you really don't have to do much. The cuticle pusher is already angled for you at the perfect angle to push back those cuticles. So I make sure I push back the cuticles and I go in on the sides as well because if you notice when lifting begins it usually starts either at the cuticle or the side so I make sure and I push everything everything back before I go in with my cuticle bit now this is the e-file that I am currently using and I really love it I'll post the link down below where I got it so if you guys are interested in it I love that it has a little it has little lights where it shows you the percentage of battery you have left that way you know when you have to charge it and this is the cuticle bit that I use, my favorite one. These are sold in my online store, but my online store is still closed, you guys. Like I said, I will let you guys know here whenever I do plan on opening it once again. But this is a diamond cuticle bit, and I love it because it's small enough to really get into that cuticle. And it kind of lifts the cuticle up. It leaves it ready for the cuticle nippers if you choose to cut your cuticles. Some people like to cut, some people don't. It's really up to you. If you feel sure enough to use them, I personally, on myself, I always do. On my clients, it depends on their cuticles. So I'm showing you guys how I don't angle it. My I don't angle my wrist too high up because I don't want to dent the natural nail. I just want to clean up those dry cells, uh, cuticle cells, because if we don't remove them, you guys, whatever we do either gel mani or acrylic nails it's gonna lift now as you can see i did the left side with my forward on the e-file and now i'm doing the right side with the reverse mode on the e-file that way i you know you take off everything really really well sometimes i leave it on the forward and i just go from right to left but i just wanted to show you guys this way on this video so i'm just removing all of that dead cells if you guys skip this step you guys um you will have lifting now the way that i prep my natural nails is a universal way you can use this method for gel mani for gel extensions, for acrylic nails. For any service, this is a universal way to prep your natural nails. Now, this bit that I'm using is a zebra armor band. I love the zebra armor band. It's, it's the one that I prefer to use because it really removes everything gently and thoroughly. So what I do is I start at the cuticle area and again, I'm showing you guys the angle that I like to use it. So I start at the cuticle area, then I move on to the whole nail. As you can see right there, I'm doing the cuticle, the sides very well. And then I just go ahead and do the whole nail. And I make sure that I remove everything. We have to remove all the shine from the nail before we do any service. Because if we leave any shine on the nail, uh, any service that we do after that, it's not going to be a long lasting service. So I just wanted you guys to see, look at the two nails. That have been cleaned so now I've done all of the nails and I want to show you guys look at that cuticle area it kind of left the cuticles lifted and they're just ready for me to cut so these are my cuticle nippers um, if you do cut cuticle nippers the most important thing is that you buy great cuticle nippers I know cuticle nippers are not that cheap you know they're pricey but they're worth it and another tip that I give you guys is don't store your cuticle nippers in a box or in a drawer because they're just moving around and they're losing its sharpness you need to kind of hang it off a little cup like I have a, a marble cup where I store my brushes and I just hang it off of that cup that's how I store mine that was a tip given to me by an amazing gel nail artist and it really has given my cuticle nippers a longer longer life so now I'm gonna use a disposable file to file my nails um, I, I want them all to be the same length okay so if some are shorter than others you know make them all have the same length so they can aesthetically look good and that also helps your enhancements if you do gel or acrylic like I mentioned it's gonna help them last longer 
and now I'm spraying this manicure brush with some alcohol. This is how I re finally remove all that dust. I just feel like the bristles really get in there. So this is the finished product, you guys. I, I just love seeing a clean cuticle and this is gonna make a world of a difference in your application. I hope this video helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions or any other suggestions for any other videos down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys and until next time, live to inspire.